I would really like to go at some point soon. That would be nice. As of late, there's been a ton of new moto bloggers starting out there. So really, this message is kind of for you guys. It's kind of a catch-22, right? Uh, you, you want as many subscribers and as many views as possible. But in order to do that, you kind of have to kind of have to cater to the masses which sucks because that kind of constrains your your creativity right oh don't know what happened there that's not going in Look, that dude's got lights is that a chick's truck look at all the pink hello is it me you're looking for awesome no but out of all seriousness guys my advice to you would be this. Don't cater to the masses. Don't inflate your videos. Don't be somebody you're not, right? Just do what you want to do. Do videos and motovlogs that make you happy. And the reason why I say that is because I have fallen victim of creating content that I know would get more views. I, I make these titles or uh, thumbnails that would get more views. And you know what, as a result, when I don't get those views, I, I just feel like hanging it up. It's like, oh fuck, I, I don't want to do this anymore. It's like, why, why do I even bother if nobody's going to watch my stuff? Is that I still get 600 to 800 views a video? That's a lot of views. I remember when I, I started back doing this whole moto vlogging thing last year, you know, when I got 100, when I broke 100 views, I was like, holy crap, that's awesome. 100 people watch my, my shit. <laughs> Oh man, I was so excited about that. You know, sometimes it gets to the point where you lose track of, of why you're doing it. And it's because I was trying to cater to the masses and get as many views as possible and as many subscribers as possible. And I had good intentions. The only reason why I was doing that is so that when I do make these unbelievably intricate, detailed, amazing cinematic videos, that I'd get as many people to watch as possible because I may cater to the masses, but if I do, then the content that I really want to share gets shared with a lot more people. I don't know if, if that makes sense. The crazy part is, is that the 3,500 subscribers that I truly hold dear to me means so much to me, I'm actually kind of sad, and I even feel a little guilty for not putting out that content so that you guys can see it. That's a shoot. <laughs> so yeah, I feel bad. Um, I even had... I've had two people, three people actually, come up to me and basically treat me like a celebrity. <laughs> um, one was on the phone, and I'm not going to mention him just because I don't, uh, you know, I don't want to embarrass him. But uh, he's going to watch this, so you know who you are. And uh, the fact that he was like, "Oh my God, I'm talking to Jasper Chase, Chase Jasper Town, oh the cow, man, dude, that was that was probably the highlight of my entire year so far. I really appreciate that. That was." You know, it, it made me feel like what I have been doing means the world to so many people, not just you. So anyways, in conclusion of what I've been trying to say the whole time is to you new guys, don't cater to the masses. Do what you love to do and you'll last longer than anybody else out there that's trying to get subs and views and all that stuff. But again, if you do it exactly how you want to do it and you're making those videos because they're they mean something to you and you could watch them over and over again that's very important you should be able to want to watch your own content you should get excited about it if you're not you're doing it wrong but if you are doing it that way I'm telling you moto vlogging will be such a, a satisfying experience for you guys so that's gonna be it for me guys I am gonna start running some errands instead of screwing around on this beautiful day so, as always, you guys say it with me. Keep doing what you're doing. I'm out. <laughs>